What is going on guys, it's Yoji. I wanted to give you a short update on my physical crit bow pathfinder build that I've been playing recently in Prophecy League. And I'm currently level 84, almost 5k life as you can see. And I'm, it's going quite smoothly, smoothly now, but the problem is, uh, it wasn't always the case. Um, if you watch my stream, you've seen me struggle between levels like 45 and 55. Um, because early in the league, uh, crit gear, and especially good crit bows, are not that readily available, as well as just in general leveling gear for uh, physical characters to help you through the early like starting phase problems. But um, yeah, the leveling process after that, once I picked up the most important bow crit nodes on the tree, uh, actually went really, really well. Um, I used the new Faded Unique Deaths Opus, uh, that's the Deaths Harp upgrade that you can uh, get from completing a prophecy. And that thing is insane! That basically instantly solved all my problems, so I can definitely recommend using that for leveling this build up. Another thing I plan to do with this build that didn't actually happen to end up being all that well is taking the Poison Node Master Herbalist on the Pathfinder passive tree. And while I thought this would be really great to help out with single target and in general just help the build with damage, it didn't actually do all that much. So instead what I would recommend while leveling is you can still take Master Herbalist, but re uh, but I would recommend respecking out of it once you get towards uh, your second ascendancy in True, and that is because you want Master Surgeon. The Master Surgeon node is insane. First of all, it gives all your flasks bleed removal, buffs all your life flasks life recovery, so the, the amount of health you gain back from your life flask is just simply buffed. That's great for leveling while you're sometimes having to cope with not having a good instant flask or something like this. For that it's awesome, also not having to reroll a bleed flask every time you upgrade or something like this. Also very nice. Uh, and the note before that gives you a lot of attack speed, gives you some, uh, gives you some, uh, what's it called? Gives you attack speed and gives you movement speed, yeah, movement speed is also very nice. Helps you clear faster, move faster, get out of danger faster. I like that a lot. Now the third and fourth ascendancy points I'm going to take will lead me to Master Alchemist. Uh, and that is because le elemental damage in uh, maps now actually hurts. Monsters in maps with their spells now actually hurt. That's pretty cool. I'm enjoying it a lot. Since I started doing like tier 8 maps and higher, as you can see back here, um, I've actually uh, no noticed monsters being way way more dangerous and that's pretty cool. It gives me like, kind of like a feel of in the old days when you were scared of normal white mobs, so some white packs like these spark skeletons for example that you always find a chamber of sins they now actually hit like a truck which is pretty cool so um yeah without further ado let's dive into the character and have a closer look at it all right here we are now with my character as i said level 84 pathfinder and as you can see i'm rocking a five link which is just a basic cheap five link some life some resist nothing really special this is just a budget until i get Another unique chest piece, which gives me some more damage mitigation. I'm rocking split arrow, physical projectile attack damage, increased critical strikes, cr strikes, which is nice. Uh, chain, and added fire damage, which interestingly enough gives me more than weapon elemental damage for split arrow. My blast rain is only on a four link. Blast rain linked with physical projectile attack damage, conk effect for nicer single target of course, and weapon elemental damage. And this does a shit ton of damage. Blast rain does a lot of damage. Even in a four link, so that's actually pretty damn nice. Uh, helps me kill most rares and unique mobs really, really fast and very safely. Uh, this is this is really awesome. I wasn't expecting that. Um, most of my gear is just very, very default gear. This is just a resist uh, life ring. Has some accuracy on it, which is nice, which does help out a lot with crit. But that's basically it on this one. Also, life, some crit here, some stats that I need. I need basically need all the the intelligence I can get. Um, I got another ring, life resist, nothing special here. Uh, this quiver, uh, I corrupted it and got 80% physical converted to cold. Which actually does help me a little bit with freezing more and uh, procking my Herald of Ice curse on its setup. But other than that, it's just really annoying when something has cold resistance, okay? <laughs> um, I got these boosts, 30 movement speed is nice for clear speed. 1 resist, life, movement speed boots. Not too expensive, not nothing too crazy good, not too high evasion either. Just like random, random stuff. These super budget gloves, some resist, some life, some like minimal physical damage attacks. I didn't actually pay anything extra for that, I guess. Some intelligence again, which is nice. And also I use a ES evasion shield, uh, ES evasion piece um, to get the blue sockets on it. Um, yeah, but not much more. I got a rat's nest. I'm using a rat's nest uh, to boost my crit and my attack speed a little bit because I'm lacking a bit of damage. And that is because this bow is actually not all that great. 
has close to 8% attack speed. You could bless that up, but I'm not sure if I will ever even do it. This is sub 300 DPS bow, so don't expect too much from this build yet. The damage is pretty good, however, for this uh, for this low damage bow that I'm rocking. Um, this is kind of like a nice piece that I snatched. Now, you probably think, wait, what? This doesn't even have resist. How much life is this? Like 80? Craft a crappy cold dress on this? Why is this any good? And the, the reason that this is any good is 18% reduced flask charges used and 20% flask duration. This is insane. These two rolls make it so my flask uptime is basically 100%. Uh, and even more reliably than it would all right. already be just by being a pathfinder and rocking all those awesome flasks. So right now my split arrow has a 6.7k DPS unbuffed. I'm rocking 7 frenzy charges, 3 power charges, which are up pretty reliably when clearing maps. Which buffs my DPS uh, quite a bit extra. But now this is where the magic happens. Uh, as you can see, I got a taste of fate. Quality that up with four lot of mobiles. And not only give, does this give me awesome mitigation against alley reflect, because most of my damage is cold damage, or like most of my alley damage is cold damage, because I'm, as I said, I'm conver even converting a part portion. Uh, taste of fate adds cold damage. I'm running, rocking hatred and herald of ice. So yeah, cold damage uh, being more cold damage resistance can, can be really nice for this build. Um, and yeah, this mitigates some damage. This gives me a nice damage buff as well. I'm rocking a diamond flask with some move speed on it, reduced charges used, so this actually has uh, up to three uses, which is which is pretty damn good. As you can see, one, two, and it still has a use. And this makes it so I roll my critical strikes twice. Now you can see I have a 61% critical strike chance uh, on my split arrow. This does not show up on the tooltip, so when you press this, what happens is you roll your critical strike twice, and if one of them crits, you crit. So this actually gives me a, whenever this is up, and this is up all the time, like all the time, um, this gives me an 86-87% crit chance instead of a 61% crit chance, which is pretty damn awesome. Considering all my flasks have surgeons because of Master Surgeon, um, yeah, my flasks are pretty much up all the time, as I said. Test of Fate is great, we talked about that. I have a Surgeon's uh, Curse Removal Basalt Flask to give me additional physical damage reduction. This is very important. Basalt Flask you should definitely be having when you're playing an invasion build. And yeah, this is also really great, also up most of the time, but as you can see, uh, it consumes quite a bit of charges, but yeah, this thing refreshes so fast, I can have it whenever I need it. And I have a, uh, currently using a Silver Flask, this is my Freeze Removal, until I get Master Alchemist I will probably be rocking this. Afterwards I might change to either Vessel of Winter or Not Serious Promise. And if you don't have a Taste of Fate you can easily, to buff your damage a bit further, you can easily instead just use a, uh, uh, a Serious Promise, they're like a few Chaos. Add a lot of damage, add some leech, are pretty nice as well. Just ro rock a basalt with it and you should be fine still. Now, Silver Flask is a pretty awesome flask. Gives you Onslaught. This is not even quality yet because I'm not uh, I'm not aiming to use this too much, like, till too, too long. And this already has, like, like, like it is right now, this already has a uh, 11 second duration. So 11 seconds of Onslaught on a button press is pretty nice. Oh wait, this doesn't refresh, refresh my flasks. RIP! Um, so yeah, this is actually pretty good. And yeah, as I said, currently my tool, my tooltip is pretty low. If I pop a pop a taste of fate, this goes up to 8k. If I pop this one with it, it goes over like slightly over 10k. And with like friends charges and stuff, I'm like more close to 20k, I think. Um, and that isn't even counting the the extra 26% crit or so I get from this. So overall, build is rocking, uh, going pretty well. A lot of power coming from flasks. And yeah, if you like this, if you want to play this build, I have another build uh, video too for this, like an introduction to it in the video description below. Just keep in mind the changes I mentioned in this video before the ascendancies, and you should definitely be fine. And use Death's Opal. That thing is awesome. I'll keep you updated on this build. Subscribe if you haven't already, and if you're new to the channel. I'm Yoji, and I will see you soon.